Biden admin negotiates deal to give who authority over U.S. pandemic policies. Here's the scariest part. New international health accord avoids necessary Senate approval. So in other words, the dictator can just go ahead and do it. Biden or Blinken. The Biden administration is preparing to sign up the United States to a legally binding accord with the WHO that would give this Geneva-based UN subsidiary the authority to dictate America's policies during a pandemic. Despite widespread criticism of the WHO's response to the other pandemic, U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary Becerra joined with the WHO Director General Tedros, an actual war crimes criminal, in September 2022 to announce the U.S. slash WHO strategic dialogue. Together, they developed a platform to maximize the long-standing U.S. government WHO partnership and to protect and promote the health of all people around the globe, including the American people. These discussions and others spawned the zero draft PDF of a pandemic treaty published on February 1st, which now seeks ratification by all 194 WHO member states. A meeting of the WHO's intergovernmental negotiating body is scheduled for February 27th, six days from today, to work out the final terms, which all members will then sign. Written under the banner of the world together equitably, the Zero Draft grants the WHO the power to declare and manage a global pandemic emergency. Once a health emergency is declared, all signatories, including the U.S., would submit to the authority of the WHO regarding treatments, government regulations such as lockdowns, poison jibber jabs, global supply chains, and monitoring and surveillance of populations. Well, if that doesn't have you infuriated and shaken to your core nothing else is going to in essence what this is as i mentioned a few months ago is the pedo joe democrat regime signing over u.s sovereignty to the who and basically the u.n that would undermine and do away with our Constitution. That's why they're doing it. You saw in here, we would be forced to take newly developed stuff and it's going to prevent doctors from prescribing non-stuff treatments and medicines. It is a going to be a centralized pandemic response. And I'll read just a little bit from that. There's several uh, paragraphs which you can go to yournews.com and see it all for yourself. Let's stay. Centralized pandemic response. They want to see a centralized jab and medication-based response and a very restrictive response in terms of controlling populations. They get to decide 
what is a health emergency and are putting in place a surveillance mechanism that will ensure there are potential emergencies to declare. Okay, what this means is if Africa has an outbreak of chickenpox, they have the authority to lock down the entire globe even though that is in Africa. The WHO Pandemic Treaty is part of a two-track effort coinciding with an initiative by the World Health Assembly to create new global pandemic regulations that would supersede the laws of member states. The WHA is the rulemaking body of the WHO, comprised of representatives from the member states. Both initiatives are fatally dangerous. If either one of these go through, Tedros or whoever takes his place can issue orders that go all the way down a pipe to your primary care physicians. You are going to be told what medications you can dispense as a doctor, and that is it. The accord would require member nations to monitor and regulate against substandard and falsified products. Yeah. So, as you can see, next, here's the big one. That should have you shaking. Woo! Let's go right here. Whoever drafted this clause knew as much about the U.S. constitutional law and international law as I did and deliberately drafted it to circumvent the power of the Senate to give its advice and consent to treaties to provisionally bring it into force immediately upon signature. In addition, the Biden administration will take the position that this is an international executive agreement that the president can conclude of his own accord without approval by Congress and is binding on the United States of America, including all state and local elected officials, governors, attorney generals, and health officials. So they're saying there are several U.S. Supreme Court decisions that may support the regime in this. But we will see. So to circumvent the Senate and the Congress, they went to the WHO. I'm sorry. For either the regulations or the treaty to get around domestic opposition. The Zero Draft stated that this new accord is necessary because of the catastrophic failure of the international community in showing solidarity and equity in response to the fake pandemic. One health surveillance and misinformation. The agreement calls for member states to implement One Health Surveillance. It's been embraced by the UN, the CDC, the World Bank, because they're a medical organization. Okay, so what this, in essence, it links human and animal health, which they sometimes are. So you can improve human health by acting more broadly, but it has been hijacked and it is now used to claim that all human activities, all, and all issues within the biosphere affect health and are therefore within public health's remit. So this is how they get in their climate change hoax, racism, fisheries management, anything. They're going to use it for the carbon emissions as a health issue and therefore a health emergency. They can lock down. One Health Surveillance. We are in trouble. This aligns with the efforts by former White House Press Secretary Circleback Saki, who said, 
Make sure social media companies are aware of the latest narratives dangerous to public health, a.k.a. the truth, and engage with them to better understand the enforcement of social media platform policies. Or, as UN Undersecretary Melissa Fleming stated, tackling disinformation. We own the science, and we think that the world should know it. And finally, redefining sovereignty and human rights. All right, the way it is now, states have their own right to determine and manage their approach to health. Provided that the activities within their jurisdiction or control do not cause damage to their people and other countries. The accord states that human rights are also important and it mandates that people living under any restrictions on the freedom of movement, such as quarantine and isolation, have sufficient access to meds, health services, and other necessities and rights. The Accord presents human rights as health equity through resolute action on social, environmental, cultural, political, and economic detriments, determinants, I'm sorry, of health. It's going to be a detriment to your health. Australia has gone so far as to criminalize the refusal to do the thing. Within the United States, cesspools like New York City mandated it for access to public spaces, dividing its residents into the privileged and a second-tier class known as me. We are in deep, deep trouble, folks. So, Biden or Blinken? can sign this. Do you have any doubt in your mind that they already have the pen in their hand? You need to realize if this happens, anything else they want to do to us, whenever they want to do it, they can do. Because making the entire globe a big, farking, one-world, kumbaya, third-world shithole means they can bring in the blue helmets or any other troops to enforce their laws on the rest of us. And it would authorize the Democrat regime to do whatever they want to us under the guise of a public health emergency. Where have we heard that before? But they had restrictions. They had our Constitution, even though they violated it, knowing they would get shot down later, they still violated it while they could get away with it. This will be the end of America. Not as we know it, the end. How do you come back from this? Well, OJT, 2024, we elect uh, the, the Savior on the white horses, and it all gets taken care of. He, he takes us right out of it again. Do you folks seriously believe if they get this passed on the 27th that there will ever be another election the plan all along has never to be another election they have just what they want a uniparty or enough numbers that they don't have to worry about the handful of republicans who appear to have a spine no we are we're done There'll be no borders, not that we have one now, There will, which 
sovereignty gone. There'll be no constitution. We are the only country. Why are we the only ones that are still armed? Guaranteed. Pedo Joe signs that on the 27th. Within a month or two, there will be a worldwide global pandemic of some new made-up kind. Worldwide lockdowns. Worldwide gun confiscation. There's one way to stop this. We're probably going to get to see, aren't we? I'm not hearing any supposed GOP talking about this, are you? They tried to put a, a bill forward to defund the WHO, meaning we don't give them any more money. When has that ever worked anywhere? Oh, also, Putin gave a speech today. It was pretty much like we expected, at least how I expected. Now, there's a couple ways this can go. There is a rumor floating around out there by a couple highly respected channels that I can't mention because they're banned and it'll get me a whack. Could potentially be a bank run on Friday. Rather, lock their doors. If you have a chance between now and then to go get basically everything out, except for maybe a month's worth of payments, you can always go put it back in on Monday or Tuesday with no damage done. Just remember, if you have over a certain amount in there, your bank institution will not let you withdraw it all because if everybody's going there, they don't have the money. But you also may have to go two or three days in a row if you've got enough money in there because there's limits now. Otherwise, you're a terrorist. You're all going to get reported anyway for withdrawing all your money. Guaranteed, they're setting up for it. Like I said, it's just a rumor, but better safe than sorry. All right. That's all I got. Better get on a phone to whoever your congressman or senator is. Tell them to stop this. I don't know that they can. If he can bypass the Senate, what chance do we have? Sorry, I'm getting a little pissed off. All right. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JT, signing off.